Hello, in this video, video number 14 of 40, we're gonna be talking about tonight how creating in a creative environment will help unleash the power of God in your life. From the book, Commanding Your Morning by Dr. Sidney Trim. Yes, we're excited about creating a creative environment tonight. I am Vernitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. I am the host and founder of Next Level Faith Call, and this is our book club. Happy Sunday, everyone. So our first book club went so well in the spring of 2019, okay? We decided to do it again, a second time. We, we're hashtagging this number two book club. Um, through the summer of 2019. So here we are, day 14, and our goal for coming together for 40 consecutive days, today is day 14, it is to help to unleash the power of God in our lives through the power of prayer. Yes, there are some activation declarations in the back of this book. We're gonna read tonight how to create a creative environment. It's wrapping up the end of chapter two. I'm excited tonight. This book actually came in my life at a time when I was struggling on my job, struggling with my children, struggling in my community. I felt like I didn't have a voice in my community. With my children, you know, I remember one time my son told me that he felt like he was my children's father because I was always at work and he was the one at home with his siblings. So I know what it feels like to be trapped as a single parent and not knowing like what to do next. Even on my job, you know, I had a good job. I had a great position, but um, I was always being told what to do by upper, upper level management. And a lot of times I had trouble sleeping at night because of the decisions that they would expect me to make. But I felt again trapped, like I had to make these decisions my job was pressuring me to do if I wanted to keep mine. And so one day on my day off, I was working 50, 60, sometimes even 70 hours a week. I just so happened to be at the right place at the right time watching Sid Roth. It's supernatural. And I wish I could tell you what broadcast system I was watching him on because he actually still comes on to this day. I have been a live studio guest audience at Sid Ross um, at one of his broadcasts here in Charlotte, North Carolina. But anyway, I was watching his broadcast uh, probably almost 10 years ago now. And I, Sydney Trim happened to be on there. Y'all, she looked like me. She talked like me. She was all about empowerment and believing that, you know, the impossible could be possible. And she believed in supernatural signs and wonders. And so I was intrigued. So the special part about Sydney Trim, what made me purchase this book and introduce it here to our book club is that she was saying these words. And I know that, you know, our words unlock our future or our, unlock our current and present situation. I was knowing that, but I felt like I wasn't speaking the right words, like my words were off. So I ordered the book and the book came with a CD and the CD recorded her activation declarations. Ah, I don't know if you can even still buy the book and the CD together. But I played that CD and I played that CD and I played that CD until those activation declarations became personal for me. I was able to activate my declaration out of my corporate job. Yes, I don't have a college education, but they saw something in me and they just worked with me over the years and got me as far as they could get me. Okay, so now I'm an entrepreneur. I help other people live their dreams every day and I love it. <laughs> Sometimes it just don't seem fair. Favor ain't fair. But anyway, now with my children, oh, my baby is 13 now. I quit my job six years ago. And so I've been able to develop a relationship with all four of my children. Yes, my son this morning, he's 13 and it's Sunday here where I live in Easley, South Carolina. He came in the room this morning about 10 o'clock and he was like, what you doing, mama? I was like, what you, nothing, what you doing? I was writing in my journal. I was like, nothing, what you doing? He's like, nothing, I'll be back. 
So it's those little things. My baby, he's 13. He didn't have to come and check on me, you know, but God restored my relationship with my children. And I believe it was through these activation declarations because I was able to speak um, God's word over my children, God's word over my over my uh, business, on my job, even down to my community, you know. God has blessed me with a lot of gifts and talents. And sometimes when you're strong and you're strong willed, you don't know where you can get in to fit in. And so I felt like I had a lot to say, but not a lot to say to, you know, the right people. But God has placed me with next level faith called group. And through these activation declarations, this is what's keeping us together. You know, I feel like we're all prayer warriors in Jesus name. So I'm excited tonight to be reading, creating a creative environment. Because um, I have some personal testimonies about this particular su subject, taking the limit off of God. A lot of you may you know, be creating some things and wondering why it's not going anywhere. Well, perhaps it's your environment. You know, you're not um, allowing these things to be birthed in you from a creative space. So we're going to find out you know, how to clear our space tonight and how to get to where God is calling us to be and how to overcome our circumstances and our situations by creating a creative environment. So welcome tonight. Hey, Miss Tina from Knightsdale, North Carolina. How was your old school concert last night? Yes, I love it. Welcome tonight. And thank you for hashtagging my purpose driven faith. So let's get started with the reading. So this is what we're going to do tonight because I know that there are um, new people who are coming into the group. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we hope that you come back because we'll be back tomorrow at 830. So what we're going to do is read uh, the highlighted text for tonight, which is create a creative environment. And it's a short read. I'm going to read this first page, the second page, and it's going to wrap up chapter two. So after I read that, we're going to jump to the back. And uh, talk about putting it to practice with the activation declarations. And if there's anything that stu stands out to you tonight, just leave it in the comment section below. And um, we'll talk about it. We'll have a conversation because this is our book club. And we come together so that we can grow in Jesus' name. Miss Tina says, fun, nice change of pace. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, welcome everyone tonight. Let's get ready. So I'm going to take a sip of my water. Y'all sit back and relax. For those who want to uh, take notes, get your pen and your paper out. For those who don't, just relax and listen to the live reading. Oh, make sure you stick around to the end of the broadcast because um, tonight we'll actually be pulling a new random winner uh, for our weekly giveaway. And also... Um, we won't be announcing it until tomorrow, though. So stick around, though, because I also want to share with you the conclusion tonight, the essence of a new day. You'll hear it tonight like you've never heard it before. Welcome tonight. Let's get started. Create a creative environment. Commanding your morning by Dr. Sidney Trim. Unleash the power of God. Read by Vernitra Thomas, better known as Tweet from Next Level Faith Called Group. Create a creative environment. One thing I do that helps me to think more strategically and wisely, and therefore to pray more effectively, is to be mindful of my environment. So your environment will affect your attitude, your focus, your faith, and your intentionality of your thoughts. So if you surround yourself by clutter, and noise and reminders of lack and other problems, you'll find it more difficult to think past these limiting issues. You have the power to create an inspirational environment around yourself. What do y'all think about these writings that I have on my wall behind me? This helps me be inspired when I'm in my room, when I can't get outside. I love to be outside. That's like my, my most inspirational places outside. Because when I want to get things cleaned up on the inside, I go outside to nature and that gives me the motivation to clean out my closet or it gives me the motivation to write down, you know, my next strategy or it gives me the motivation to go to the grocery store. Little simple things. So um, it is so important that you surround yourself 
by things that are clear, things that, you know, inspire you, things that, you know, um, that are quiet and get away from your problems for a while so that you can create something new in your life. So let's continue with the read tonight because it's so good. So if you surround yourself with clutter, noise and reminders of lack and other problems, you'll find it more difficult to think past these limiting issues. You have the power to create an inspirational environment around yourself. I like beauty. Anything that's beautiful, clean and orderly automatically gives me inspiration. Some people like the quiet of nature or the stimulation of music or the bustling cafe. So God gave man a maraud of inspirational um, environments to spur his creativity. Y'all with me? Okay, let's continue. So look for these particular environments that inspire thoughts of abundance on every level and find a place to spend blocks of time in your most creative space. How many of y'all like to go to the library? I love it. I have rediscovered the library for my creativity. Okay, so when you find that place, practice thinking outside the box. Okay, now she's giving us steps to do. So if you're taking notes, now's a great time to start jotting them down. Okay, so when you find that place of inspiration, think outside the box. See yourself. You have to envision yourself um, taking some risk. The biggest risk in life is not taking any risk at all. I would have been miserable still on my job. If I had been there, I was there 16 years. All I had was four more years to retire. <laughs> Man told me I was stupid. I should have just stuck it out. But God said it was time for me to go. It was a risk that I took. I walked by faith and not by sight. Okay. It was a big risk because I was jeopardizing everything, my, not just my future, but my children's future too. trusting God. So the biggest risk back to the reading now, the biggest risk in life is not taking any risk at all. Prepare your mind to seek after and accept greater challenges. This is something you have to mentally do before you physically do it. Prepare your mind to seek after and accept challenges. You got to tell yourself, I accept this challenge. Tell yourself out loud, okay? Once you get into your creative environment, your words have power. I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so back to the reading. If you have trouble thinking outside of the box, then imagine creating a new one. Do you know how many times I personally had to create a new box? because I just was stuck in the one that I was in. Praise God, let's continue reading. Practice thinking like an entrepreneur, yes. And become comfortable with thoughts of achievement and success. Think and feel as if you already have what you desire. Okay, now we're getting coached now. We're getting coaching, I love it. Life coaching. So create the feelings of success by pretending you're living the kind of life you have imagined until you practice um, the effects of these habits in your mind. Oh, I love it. Think in the present. Think positively. See the thing that you want, the business you hope to accomplish, the person you hope to marry, and so on. If, um, as if you already have it in your possession of what you desire. So condition your mind to accept these thoughts and you will draw these opportunities and these experiences to yourself. She's telling the truth. I'm telling you, walk by faith and not by sight. Create a creative environment. Welcome everyone tonight to day 14 of 40. So we're wrapping up now. Your success and prosperity hinges on what lies within your mind. The first thing you need to do is change your thoughts about what God wants for you. So true. He wants you to live a life of abundance. It is his desire to give you the divine universal secrets to great success and prosperity. He holds the secret, the secret spiritual recipe for abundant living. How many of us can believe that? that God holds the spiritual secret recipe for abundant living. So there are many people 
who may not be able, uh, who may not be as spiritual as you are, but nevertheless, they're able to tap into something great, whether by accident or by providence. They, can, they are living the life of their wildest dreams. Hallelujah. And you can too. You must see yourself doing this until it becomes your conviction. God wants me to live in abundance. A world of possibilities is waiting to be released. Yes, in your future. Mark 9, 23 says, Jesus said to him, if you can believe all things are possible to him who believes. Ha, yes, creating a creative environment. Any feedback tonight? Welcome everyone to the book club, book club number two. Create a creative environment. I just love it. Jesus said in Mark 9 and, tw and 23, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. What are you believing God for tonight? I love it. Hallelujah. All right, let's talk about it. Pra putting it into practice. I'm flipping to the back of the book. I always like to read this before um, I say the activation declarations because uh, new people are always coming on to our broadcast and watching the replays because thank God we're all over the Internet now. We're shutting the Internet down through the power of prayer. Hallelujah. Yes, there's a, a war cry going out right now. So for those who are new and, and don't know anything about the activation declarations, um, Cindy encourages us to read these declarations every day. She encourages us to read them, um, you know, prayerfully, but boldly. OK, and read them with authority and power. OK, so I, I'm going to put it into practice and then we're going to pray and we're going to let go and let God and let loose in Jesus name. I'm excited. Put it into practice. I have included a list of activation declarations that you can use during your time of prayer. So this is not meant to become a binding uh, religious practice or a ritual, but as a guideline and a framework to launch you into practice of commanding your morning. So as you speak out these declarations, do so boldly, but prayerfully. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide your words, your thoughts, and your faith as you can't take command of your day. Every reader situation is different. Your situation is different, even now as we speak. Hallelujah. And only you know what your specific needs are. So this is a guide to expand um, your understanding of what is possible and to help you get started. So as you step out in faith, the Holy Spirit will guide you in other areas he wants you to exercise your authority over. So as you read out these declarations, don't just merely read them. Speak them aloud with faith and authority and power. And remember that you're partnering with God um, to activate his perfect will in your life. You are co-laboring with Christ on your own behalf, as well as on the behalf of those that you're praying for. Yes, let today be the unveiling of a fresh anointing in your life. Let today be the day that you apprehend the power that God has allotted for you. Make the activation declarations a vivid part of your prayer life and watch God turn things around for you. Oh, we're expecting miracles tonight. Ha! Yes, you are on your way to kingdom success and prosperity in Jesus name. Ha, amen. I love it. Love it. All right. So I feel inspired tonight to sing a song. It's Sunday. God is good and worthy to be praised. He's still on the throne. OK, we're going to sing my help. And this will be like our prayer as we go into the activation declarations. Y'all pray with me. Hallelujah. God just put me on the spot, told me to sing it. And I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. 
the Lord which made heaven and earth. He said he will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, he will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shade upon thy right hand, upon thy right hand. And no, the sun shall not smite thee by day, or the moon by night. He shall preserve my soul, even forevermore. to command my morning and decree it is a new day. I take authority over my day in the name of Jesus. Every element of my day is cooperating with purpose and destiny. Today I press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, the, of Jesus. The season of frustration and failures, they're over. Today I walk into a season of success and prosperity. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Anything or anyone assigned to frustrate, hinder or hurt me, I command to be moved out of my sphere of influence in Jesus name. I command my day to fully cooperate with your plan, God, and your original purpose for it. I greet today with the great anticipation of all of the good things you have prepared for me. I decree and declare that a new day, yes, a new day is dawning for my ministry. A new day is dawning for my business. A new day is dawning for my finances. A new day is dawning for my relationships. A new day is dawning for my health. A new day is dawning for my community. A new day is dawning for my family, for my friends. I download success, prosperity, health, wealth, vision, direction, ingenuity, creativity, spirituality, holiness, righteousness, peace, your abundance of love, Holy Spirit into my day. I have a fresh excitement. I have a fresh renewed mind. I have a fresh zeal. I even have a fresh anointing and the anointing that is on my life. It is uncontaminated and uncompromised by this anointing. Every yoke is broken and destroyed off of my life. Every yoke is now broken. Hallelujah. Every burden is lifted because God, you said your yoke is easy and your burden is light. All powerful God. Yes. 
place your anointing upon me now. The anointing that is on my life for this season, for this mission, for this mandate attracts only those with divinely ordained assignments. Father, empower me to serve you in holiness and in righteousness. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, lead me into all truths. Ordered my footsteps according to your word and your original plan and purpose for my life. In Jesus name, I pray God you would overtake me with blessings. I am blessed to achieve national prominence. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the field. I'm blessed to achieve fruitfulness in all areas of my life. I'm blessed in daily provisions. I'm blessed in daily activities. I'm blessed with victory. I'm blessed as an entrepreneur. Hallelujah. I'm blessed socially. I'm blessed financially. I'm blessed economically. I'm blessed corporately. I'm blessed commercially. I am blessed relationally. I'm blessed interpersonally. I'm blessed behaviorally. I'm blessed psychologically I am blessed emotionally I am blessed spiritually I am blessed biochemically I am blessed neurologically I am blessed systematically God I bless you I am blessed serially I am blessed muscularly I am blessed hormonally God I thank you I am blessed genetically I am blessed ec epidermically I am blessed nutritionally I am blessed corporately I am blessed Bless culturally. I am blessed globally. God, I bless you. I thank you. I am blessed educationally. I am blessed technologically. Almighty God, bless the works of my hands, Lord. I thank you that we are relying solely upon you. Hallelujah. God, allow your Holy Spirit, hallelujah, to be upon me now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is misaligned, I command to come into divine alignment in Jesus' name. I am ascending into new realms of power and authority and accessing new doors of dimensions of revelations in Jesus' name. I will not backslide or look back into old ways and old methodologies and old strategies and old tactics. God, unless you direct me to do so. I wear the helmet of salvation and it protects my mind and my thoughts. God, I thank you that truth protects my integrity. Righteousness protects my reputation. The gospel of peace guides by every step. The shield of faith secures my future and my destiny. The sword of the spirit grants me dominion and authority. I decree and declare. God, I thank you for a, a prophetic upgrading of my thought life. I cancel the effect of negative, self-defeating thoughts and processes and patterns, and I put them now under my feet. I now possess a kingdom paradigm, which is granting me new ways of thinking and new ways of working and new ways of living. New cycles of victory and success and prosperity are now replacing old cycles of poverty, failure and death in my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, I'll wait to see your finished product. I look forward to the day that I will be transformed into the image of your dear son. Ha! My greatest heart's desire is to be like Jesus Christ. I seal these declarations in the name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for or imagine or think according to the power at work on the inside of me. To him that is able to keep me from falling, to present me faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. Ha, I love it. To sustain my body, my soul, and my spirit. To the almighty God, to the king eternal, hallelujah, to my father. To the king, yes, to the invisible, to the only wise and true God. Be glory, be honor forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Woo! In Jesus' name, God, we praise you. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Oh, I love it. Talking about creating in a creative environment. Day 14, taking the limit off of God, unleashing the power of God in your life. I love it. We're two weeks in. So we're wrapping up. This is the conclusion. 
the essence of a new day. So we're going to hear it tonight like we have never heard it before. All right, let's clean our ears out. Ha. All right, open our hearts. All right, the essence of a new day. This is the beginning of a new day. You know what? You have been given this day to use as you will. Okay, so you can waste today or you can use today for good. Did you know that? What you do with today, it is important. Yes. Because, you know why? Because you're exchanging a day of your life for it. For today. The essence of a new day. You know what? When tomorrow comes, yup, this day will be gone forever. But in its place is something you have left behind. Yeah, you left it. Let it be something good. Yes. I love it. The essence of a new day. And that wraps up day 14. Unleashing the power of God in your life. I am Renitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. Oh, we tomorrow. We're going to be announcing the winner tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Congratulations to Vicky. She was our week one winner from um, Vicky's from Gardner, North Carolina. And um, also, we'll be pulling our winner tomorrow, so come back for that. Also, tomorrow, we'll be starting week three, a chapter three, day 15. And let me tell you what it's going to be about. Oh, the power, the creative power of spoken words. You can manifest your royal anointing to decree blessings over your marriage, your family, your business, your ministry, and every other realm of your life. The creative power of the spoken word. So come back tomorrow for that. And also come back and um, help me be a cheerleader to congratulate whoever our next winner is because it could be you. So thank you so much. If you would like more information about Next Level Faith Call or me, Vernitra Thomas, email us at next level faith call at gmail.com follow us on social media we're on instagram as next level faith call 2014 because we started in 2014 as a prayer group here it is 2019 god has us spreading the gospel all over the world through the power of the internet so follow us on instagram also we're on youtube so next level faith call doesn't have a youtube channel but you can follow me, Vernitra Thomas, subscribe to my channel because that's what I'm uploading now is um, Next Level Faith Call Things. And you can share the link more easily with your friends and family. We do have some up and coming things coming up that I'm really excited about. So continue to pray for us as we continue to pray for you. And God bless you and God bless your family too. See you tomorrow night. Good night, everyone. Peace and happy Sunday. I am Vernitra Thomas. And this is our book club. Good night.